For over a decade, Digital Watchdog Spectrum software has been one of the most feature-rich and yet easy-to-use softwares in our industry. Today, we're going to show you how to export your video to give to the authorities on this episode of Digital Watchdog's Rapid Review. Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott Capaletti, and welcome back to Rapid Review. Let's jump right into it. So here we are live in Tampa, Florida at one of our corporate offices. How do we export video? First, you got to find what you're looking for. So I like to start with a smart search. As always, we're going to highlight this little area right here on the sidewalk. And I want to get people coming into work. We'll clear out these thumbnails for now. We don't need them for exporting. We'll go to today's date. We'll go to 8 o'clock in the morning. And it looks like we do have an event around 8.30 in the morning. So all we got to do now is clarify this is what we want. We'll get rid of the calendar. And it looks like we have Digital Watchdog's very own Paul Krofsik, who also has a YouTube channel right here on Digital Watchdog YouTube. Uh, we'll see him going into work. That's what I want to get. What I do at this point is I like to clear out my motion search. Now we're in regular playback mode. Now I can go over here. I can click and we can drag our way through to watch the event happen, to watch Paul going into the corporate office. So you left click on the timeline where you want the backup to start. You drag over while holding down the click button and watch the event. When the event is over, you let go. This is your backup file at the bottom of the screen. This little selection on the timeline is indeed your backup file. So all you have to do is right click on that. Go to export video. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, there's more. You can do a whole litany of things here. You can add a timestamp. You choose where the timestamp goes. You choose the format that you want to use, and you can change the font size as well. I really wouldn't want it up here because it's going to get washed out by the sky, by that building. So you choose where it goes. You can add an image. Maybe you want to watermark the image. Maybe you want to do this for advertising purposes. Whatever the case may be, you can browse in an image. Put it right here again. Where do you want to put it? Do you want it to be see-through? Do you want to change the size? The choice is yours. You can add text. Maybe you're fulfilling an order and you want to ship this out uh, to the customer so they can see the order being shipped out. Whatever the case may be, maybe it's a, a student being bad. You could put their name on here, whatever the case may be. Put this wherever you want it to go. Information is the name of the camera and when it was exported. And Rapid Review, look at that, Rapid Review. That's right, that's where I got the name from. Rapid Review gives you the power to create a time lapse, a beautiful Planet Earth National Geographic Time lapse. You could take months of video and condense it down to 30 seconds to give you a beautiful time lapse. Imagine construction sites. Imagine a big sale happening at a retail location, whatever the case may be. You can click on that and say, I get it. It's a long video. In this case, it's only 22 seconds, but it's a long video. Make it instead of three months. Pretend that says three months. We want to make it 30 seconds. And it really is a beautiful thing. We'll clear all these out for now, but it's just that easy to set all these things up. We'll clear them out. You choose where you're going to save it to. Hit the Browse button, and you could choose where to save it to. I'll put it right there in my Download folder. You could choose the name of the file itself. We automatically name it the name of the camera and the date and time, but you can change it to whatever you want. And I'll just do Rapid for now. We'll go ahead and highlight all this. And we'll just call it Rapid. Ah, we'll do Rapid Review. You also have a choice as far as what file format you want to use. So MKV works on VLC Media Player. It certainly works right here in Digital Watchdog Spectrum software. You also have AVI. AVI works on everything except for Mac. So any Windows machine, AVI will indeed work. MP4 is our default. MP4, MPEG, is really universal. You can use it anywhere you want. That is what I recommend. NOV file. If you want to do more than one camera on your backup, you got to do an NOV file. You got to hit multi video up here. It's going to actually force you to an NOV file. And then you can drag and drop more cameras over and back them up together as one unit. Now, I'm on a Mac right now. There's only two really clicks that are different between Mac and Windows. And one of them is right here. If you're on a Windows machine, which I suspect most of you are, down here will be an executable file. Mac doesn't play with executables, that's why it's not there. What the executable file allows you to do is take this backup, give it to whomever you want. They double click on the executable file and the file itself, it'll open up the Spectrum software. No installation needed, no download needed, it just opens right up. NOV file 
which is the multi-video we talked about a moment ago, you do need to have Spectrum already on that computer to play back an NLV file. Executables, if you want to give full functionality, all the playback, all the beautiful features that Spectrum has, do an executable. If you're giving it to somebody that already has Spectrum, MP4 really is universal. Also, prosecutors, you're giving this to someone that you just want to be able to watch the video, dissect the video, for sure do MP4. I'll leave it at that for now. You can also apply filters. So if you have rotated your camera, de-warped the fisheye lens camera, dot image enhancement, you can apply that as well. For now, let's just hit the export button. From here in New England, all the way down to Tampa, Florida, while broadcasting to you, and back, we're done. Now, it saves in a couple different places. You'll see Rapid Review right here. So that is the video that we just saved a moment ago, right from the Spectrum software. But we also put it right here under your local files. So the whole point is, we don't ever want you to leave this software until you're truly ready to leave. So we allow you to check your work from right here. So I can double click on that. Here it opens up, we'll go full screen. And what we will see as I hit the play button is Mr. Krofsik coming into work today. In just a few short moments, he'll be showing up there. That easy. And if we want, of course, we can go down here and use Spectrum to fast forward. But there he is on command. Double checking your work. Is that the file you want to send to the authorities or whomever? It sure is. Excellent. Do your thing, leave, go to downloads, copy and paste it, put it on OneDrive, Dropbox, whatever you use, it doesn't matter. It's there for you, you're good to go. It's really that simple. It's really that easy. As with all things with Digital Watch Show, built for users that register trademark. Hey, you wanna learn more about this product and all products? Go to digital-watchdog.com. Do you wanna see more of these videos or Paul's videos? Go to YouTube, type in Digital Watchdog, and you'll find us all there. And of course, you can send us an email at rapidreview at digital-watchdog.com. Until next time, my name is Scott Capaletti, and this has been your Rapid Review.